first world championship uh, on MV Augusta, uh, false under uh, Italian motorcycle in 1956. By the time I got to 1959, I started to think about other things. I did 76 races in a year, but Augusta wanted to restrict me to something like 12. So I looked and thought about an alternative, and the alternative was try a car. So for uh, 1960, uh, I actually ended up in a situation where after I'd done two private races for Ken Till, Colin Chapman of Lotus asked me to join the Formula One team and I uh, ended up racing the Formula One one weekend and racing a Grand Prix motorcycle the other. And that year brought me two world championships on motorcycles and uh, I got a second in the British Grand Prix in Formula One. So uh, that was quite a special year. John Surtees is the only man in the world who, who's been so good, I mean really great, world champion in both four wheels and two. And I remember seeing John, you know, when he first came into, into four wheels, and following him you saw nearly as much of the front of the car as the back. I mean, he was really tremendous amount of car control, but, but not probably the quickest way. And then of course he quietened it down a bit, and then because came the world champion. So I have a great respect for what he achieves on both two and four wheels. You still touch upon some of the tracks uh, that I was involved with. Uh, if I was racing motorcycles, you'd go to somewhere like the Isle of Man and you'd need to know exactly where you were, that you missed this drain cover here, that you lifted your head up to miss that lamppost in another corner. These are the sort of challenges you had on a circuit like the Isle of Man. You then went to the Nürburgring and you raced there and uh, there you didn't have guardrails, you just had hedges. And so uh, with a motorcycle you'd be sort of brushing your, your, your uh, shoulder in, in the hedge when you were really sort of clipping the corner. One of the last times I uh, drove a sports car at uh, an Uber Ring, I uh, actually lost the front suspension on the car and uh, I found out what a wonderful catch fence those hedges made. What John has done is, is, is in incredible, really. I mean, it's unique, and I'm sure it's going to stay like that, because I just can't see anybody being as good at, with four wheels as he will on two wheels. So I think he's completely unique. I had my heart in what I was doing. I love doing it. I consider myself fortunate to actually get paid for doing something that I love doing. I met a lot of wonderful people, had the opportunity to travel and have all sorts of experiences, and it was, uh, in a way, following your dreams.